and friends, uh, good morning, and thank you very much. This year, we aim to reach at least 52 million people with essential life-saving aid, including millions of Syrians who are displaced and in urgent need of food, shelter, and health care, both inside the country and across the region. The plans also include help for the millions of Filipinos who are struggling to rebuild their homes and communities after Typhoon Haiyan. And for the crisis in the Central African Republic, where conflict and displacement have affected the entire country. One of the big issues for us looking forward is that these crises are becoming uh, more complex. So we are seeing major natural disasters in, con in conflict uh, countries. So the complexity and scale of what we are doing is rising all the time. The plans total 12.9 billion to reach everyone we hope to help in 2014. This is the largest amount we've ever had to request at the start of the year. 6.5 billion of this will support our efforts in Syria and in neighboring countries. And again, this is the largest ever appeal for a single crisis. Last year, the seventh one, we are talking of a few billion dollars. Uh, I'm sure that the amount of money spent in the conflicts is much higher than the amount of money that we ask for for the humanitarian aspects. Probably the totality of the humanitarian budget in the world, maybe around $20 billion mm -hmm. altogether per year, is the equivalent of a bailout of a relatively small bank in a European country. Even if there were an, uh, an end to the violence in Syria tomorrow, we would still have a major humanitarian crisis on our hands. 